This all started when I read a book about Virginia Hall, who worked for the Office of Strategic Services in France during World War II. She was a very, very successful spy, and one of the things she operated was a paraset. <clears throat> if you Google images for paraset, you'll find lots of examples. Of course, back then they were tube type. I did not want to uh, necessarily build anything tube related, although I did put a bid on a set that the ARRL built for <clears throat> evaluation. I think this chess set looks like a very good place to hide a radio. I'll store away the chess pieces in this nice bag. I found some scrap metal that's already bent into a U shape, and I think that'll work nicely to hold the radio and the various different connections. Okay, so first thing, I want to know if my antique knob will fit my potentiometer. And it looks like it will. Very nice. Now, there is no threads on here, so I can't use a nut to fasten it to my metal case. This is made just to stick up through. So we have two challenges with this. First one is if this will, wow that clips right in there, actually fit in there and it looks like it will. Assuming it sticks up about that high. Next question is, will I have to find another potentiometer and wire it in separately, or can this actually fit? We will do a test fit on this thing.
Okay, this device is known as quad hands. Okay, I think we're getting ready to test. Got some headphones here. I will plug those into where it says headphones. I don't have the keyer all wi wired and everything, but I will use this and just use a couple bare wires to key it. It's the way they always did on Mythbusters anyway. I have an adapter. <laughs> I've got a bunch. This is going to go to my watt meter. can't really see that other side of the watt meter so far not so good As far as receiving is concerned, we're not hearing anything. See if we get any power out of it. Well, so far that's good for a code oscillator. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Good solid two watts. Now, I'm not too sure about these headphones. There's a reason they're down here. And that's because one channel wasn't working too well. I'm going to try a different set. 
Okay, so I have another set of headphones plugged in now. No change. But I haven't given it a real dynamic test. And that's by uh, putting in some uh, actual signal. So we'll try that here in a moment. At first it looked like everything was going to fit in the U channel. But I discovered it wouldn't. So I had to go to plan B. Okay, we're going to make a little antenna for this thing. I bought a QRP rig to go with this thing so I could use it at demonstrations and not have to take the whole HF setup. So I'll be using that to test the SWR on my little antenna here, which is really just a wire and a 50 ohm resistor. At this point, you can see it's still producing about a watt of power. Okay, I'm running this box at 9 volts. It's encouraging that it works. Puts out about a watt at 9 volts and that's enough. And I've got this now connected to a keyer and hopefully you can hear the tone in the background at negative 100 dBm a little more than a negative 100 dBm I am picking it up. However, it's very, very difficult to hear. And I think an additional amplifier will help out. So if I turn up the signal, then perhaps you can hear it. Now prepare to be blasted. Maybe I'll take the headphones away from the... Uh, Take them there because this will be good and loud. I use the keyer up here. So a sharp observer of that last scene would have noticed that the unit was no longer putting out one watt. In fact, it kept going down the whole time I was testing it. I got a comparison reading here with the service monitor, and sure enough, it really wasn't putting out much wattage here either. And this wattage kept going down and down until at the end, I was only getting about 100 milliwatts on the output. What we're looking at now is version two of the metal surrounding the project. There just wasn't enough room in the two pieces of channel. So I, now I have this engraved. I've got the receiver in there. I've got an extra amplifier that I added in so that I could pick up weak signals, just an audio amplifier, a switch to key it up, and I'm putting the keyer in now. I found out if I remove the case of the keyer, then I could also mount that into the metal piece and it would all fit together quite nicely.
KN3V, here's KCAT. Okay, here we go again.